YouTube, what is y'all doing? All right, y'all, jumping right into this one today. Got the GS400 moved outside, partially because I was cleaning out the garage a little bit. Um, but needless to say, working on this thing today. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. That is differential fluid. So I've had this for a minute now and I haven't actually attempted to change my differential fluid because I have been lazy. But today that all changes. I got like, that needs brakes, that needs brakes, and this needs brakes. So I'm finna have to start ordering some brakes. I've been kind of lazy on getting that started. So I'm gonna be starting it today. It looks like I got an extra crusher washer left over from when I did it on this car, the differential fluid flush. So I'm gonna be using that. I cross referenced the parts, it's the exact same part. So I can use this on the GS400. So I'm going to use it. I'm glad I bought multiple of those when I did it the first time. If you wanna see how I did the differential flush on this car, I referenced that video, please go check it out. I'll leave a link either somewhere in this video or in the description. I don't know what else I got planned for this video. I was thinking maybe I might go to Nashville and hit the junkyard up. But with these gas prices, I don't really know. So I might not do that. We'll see what we get into in this video. But I definitely don't want to sit around the house all day because I'm a software developer that's remote. So I do that anyway. I get enough of that. So we'll see what happens once I get this knocked out. And uh yeah, we'll see if it makes any difference. I drove the car this morning. I mean, it drove just the way it always does. Really nice and smooth, but I'm gonna drain the fluid out and get it back on the road and see if I notice anything. I'm pretty sure that the differential fluid that's in that car is the same fluid that was put in that car when it was built 22 years ago. So that's 22 year old fluid. That's gonna probably be really stinky. So we're gonna be careful not to waste any of that on the garage floor. Also, the brakes that I got from the junkyard right here, I haven't done anything with them. These are the LS400 big brake kits. I'm gonna be installing these on the GS400, but I'm gonna have to get some more wheels first because I don't think the stocks are gonna clear this. We'll get into all of the, those details in the next video or the video where we install this. But I got a question for y'all. What color do y'all think I should paint this? I'm thinking I should do like, I've been thinking about orange really hard. Like I'm, I'm thinking about going with some type of orange color. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like anything, I'm open to all opinions. Y'all see what the color of the car is. I don't know why I'm picking orange. You kind of want something to pop. Yeah, a color that's gonna pop when you do these. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Well, orange look good on this. I already got some rims in mind, so don't worry about that. Last thing I wanna show y'all. I did do the steering wheel upgrade from the uh, 2001 to 2005 GS on my GS400. If y'all interested on how I got that done, let me know in the comments or something like this saying you want to see the video. I recorded some of it, not the whole thing. I repainted this. It's the same silver color, it's just not as glossy. I kind of like that matte looking flavor a little bit better. But if y'all want to know how I did that, let me know. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward if you can source one of these and the airbag. You don't actually need the airbag from the GS, from the uh, 2001 to 2005. You just need the airbag cover and you can swap all the parts out. I'll show y'all that if y'all want to see it. I recorded some of it, like I said. One last thing before we start. Everything that I use in this video, I will be dropping down in the description, letting y'all know the type of oil that I use, etc., etc. Or I'll just be showing it to y'all in the video. One way or another, I'm gonna try and communicate that to y'all because a lot of people ask me where I get stuff from and specific things. So I'm gonna try and document that better going forward. Let's get into it. So I went ahead, jacked the whole car up, leveled it out. I hope y'all happy. Now, I need to get up under the car and I wanna show y'all how clean it is up under there. But this will be a 23 year old car. So let's get down there and check it out. And also we can look at the wells the guy did that um, cut my mufflers. See what it looks like. 
it's my first time actually getting under the car and looking at it. All right, y'all, we under the car, and you can see it's really not rusty under here at all. Like, for the most part, it's pretty decent. You got a little bit of surface rust right there. Taking a look at these welds, they look all right, I guess. And that one over there, they look okay, I guess. You can see there's no rust on, like, the control arms down here. This car is just in really good condition. So uh, basically, now that we're under here, the differential is right there. So I kind of need to get a lot closer than I am. So I'm about to try and get closer than I am. All right, y'all, I hope the lighting is good enough. So basically on this car, you got drain bolt right here. Sorry, right here. And the field bolt is actually up here. So as usual, you want to get this field boat out right there before you take out the drain boat, which is again, back here at the bottom. So, I mean, the diff does look a little rusty. It has seen better days. If it's any part of the car that's probably gonna rust, it's probably gonna be this first, but this is kind of expected. All right, y'all, so I went a little full retarded. I need two of these, one for the drain and one for the field. I couldn't remember if the field plug actually had a washer on it. But turns out it does, so I gotta go pick that up. Last thing I wanna do is create leaks. So, I am going to go and get that. All right, hopping in the IS. I don't think Toyota is too far away from here. As you can see, I actually got some gas today. So that's cool. All right, so I guess I either get up with y'all when I get back or Toyota or something. Um, I mean, you get the drill. I went ahead and um, I went ahead and cracked the uh, field bolt loose just to make sure I could get it off, and I did. So when we get back, we shouldn't have a lot of work to do. Um, if I'm kind of skipping through this for you, um, it's because it's 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 a pretty straightforward process. But I'll show y'all everything that I got done once I get back to the uh, to the house. So. Toyota got this drain pull, this drain plug um, for like three dollars or something before it takes. So I'm just gonna go snag one. All right, we made it. I'm about to go in here and get this part so I can finish my task for today. Dude just basically just handed me this thing. So okay, there's that. Put it there so we don't lose it. Head back to the house. All right, y'all. Now we can finally drain. Uh, I think I was taking out the field plug first just to confirm that it is indeed free. Yep, not what I wanted to do. This fluid actually does not look that bad. Not smelling anything yet. Yeah, I made a little mess, but that's why we made sure we had something down to protect us. All right, y'all, this is pretty straightforward. Once this gets done dripping from the field plug, then I'm going to get this out of here. Oh, it stinks. <coughs> yep, yeah, we're gonna let that drain and not be under here inhaling it. Oh my goodness. All right, YouTube, this is my drain boat that I took out of the GS400. This stuff smells way worse than it did when I took it out of my eyes. But as you can see, it's all this gook. These are like metal shavings here on the actual boat itself. You pretty much gotta clean all this stuff off of here. Off of here. This is an actual magnet. So basically you can just like, I guess take your finger and like, take this stuff off of there. It's pretty disgusting, so. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned off. Um, you can see the crush washer is on there. Take that off. Pay attention to which way you take it off because that's the way the new crush washer is gonna go on. So yeah, pay attention to that. You can see it's sticking because it's a magnet. This is disgusting. 
anyway, I'm gonna get this thing all cleaned off um, and I'll show y'all how it goes back on there. <clears throat> All right, YouTube, when you get ready to put your new crush washer on, it's gonna look like something like this. And then on this side, like, you can kind of see, like, I guess this is the side that I guess gets crushed. So you got a flat side and a side that looks like it, it kind of like, it's got a line around it, it looks like it's the side that's gonna get crushed. So you put the flat side down like that, just like you took it off. And when you tighten it up, this side will get crushed to um the torque spec that you use so yeah that's pretty much it the fluid looks like it's about done draining i'm gonna go ahead and grab that out and show y'all what it looks like all right y'all can see the fluid there it's pretty dark disgusting stuff actually um <clears throat> and it stinks it didn't look that bad coming out but now giving it another look looks pretty terrible so it's a good thing we're doing this. I don't understand why a lot of people don't do this. Um, but it's kind of nice to do it every now and then on the car. As y'all know, I struggle like actually trying to get work done and recording. The camera's always in the way. So you basically gonna reverse, do everything, all the steps that I did in reverse. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna get all that done and put the car back on the ground. And we are done. The car is back on the ground. This fluid is all flushed out. Um, I haven't driven it yet. I'm gonna take y'all along for that ride, but I need to, the only thing left for me to do, as you can see, I kind of cleaned up in here, straightened up a little bit. I need to dump this diff fluid. So I'm probably just gonna pour it into my big container and then go pour this out because I think it's getting a little on the full side. All right, YouTube, back in the car, let's start it up. There's no way it wouldn't start at this point, but. Okay, start it right up. I'm gonna take it kind of easy because I just changed the fluid. And also, I got that oil in the back. So until I pour that out, I'm probably just gonna take it really easy and make sure everything is performing as it should still moves you know it's the little things we take for granted like a car moving forward and backward if y'all hear something like moving around it's this thing of water i got over here gotta stay hydrated guys uh yeah it does feel smoother I, it's, it's hard to explain it's like i don't know it's almost like it engages a little bit better it's like very subtle but you can tell a difference and also you get that peace of mind. So, I mean, it's not really a lot for y'all to see, but you know, you got to just trust my word for it. So I know a lot of y'all probably wondering how the new job is going. And um, it's been, I've been there for like just over a week. And I must say, I don't have any like regrets at this point. Um, I think one of the unsung heroes in life is being able to like make a lot of money and justify your pay. Cause you got a lot of people in positions where they making money and you know, just, they just probably shouldn't be making what they're making. But I feel like I can definitely justify what I'm making. Um, and I just like the people. I feel like I, I'm in a position where I'm able to grow a lot more. So to answer the question, yes, the new job is going well. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, learning and contributing at the same time so yeah that's that's pretty much it on it i got a new computer so i mean who you can't really beat that but yeah so i mean the car is driving really well i guess i'll um finish this video when i get back to the house all right youtube made it back car definitely drives a lot smoother um I noticed I was able to break the traction in the rear a little bit more from a dig, so that's cool. Anyway, I know a lot of y'all probably wondering what type of fluid that I used. Kind of forgot to put this in there. Amsoil, SAE 75W90. I think you can only get this off of the site, so you might have to order that online. I actually got my brother to get it for me. 
But yeah, I think I used like a quart and a half, maybe 1.8 quarts, 1.7, something like that. So if you get two packs of those, you should be good. That's gonna conclude this video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the content just as much as I did creating it. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe. And we got a lot of plans coming for this car. And this car. So stay tuned, stick around. Thank y'all for all the support, the love. Peace.